Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation and this is Dungeon Drafters, a dungeon crawling deck building roguelike that I am very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. So I did check this out about a year ago when I played the Kickstarter demo. It got successfully kickstarted after that, but a lot has apparently changed in this year since this demo. So I'm very curious to see what is new. Because the last time I played this, I said it was one of my most anticipated roguelikes coming out uh, because of how impressed I was with the general format. I'm curious to see how it holds up, see what's changed, everything like that. Uh, but yeah, it's been a year, so how to play is probably a good call. I'm going to pause until I parse this and understand this. You can pause too if you want to read it. Yeah, relatively straightforward stuff if you played a deck builder, it seems, on that page there, aside from... Or if you played a dungeon crawler. So I think, yeah, it just it just throws us right in in this demo here, which honestly I'm I'm all for. So yeah, we have a uh, a deck of 35 different cards here, but you know we got multiples of certain ones. All right, let's scoot on in. So yeah, it is a tile based dungeon crawler on top of it. Uh, so we're gonna be scooting on down here. Wait, there we are. All right. So yeah, we'll be moving in between different rooms, obviously getting different combat. So what do we have for... Okay, let's move that out of the way. What do we have for spells here? Teleport to the targeted tile. Inflict four damage on a target unit or one to all units in an area. What is the area? Can I tell... Oh, is this... Is this the area? A shot that inflicts four damage, also creating two perpendicular shots. Then inflict two damage each. I mean, that seems pretty useful. Like, we would shoot it here, and then it would split off. A shot that inflicts three hex that I can only assume is... A, becomes a helpless frog. Reduces their max HP by half, and they cannot counter or trigger their death throw. Okay. A shot that inflicts two damage on kill. Inflicts two damage to... Uh, wait, two damage close to it that might trigger a chain reaction. Okay. I mean, the flying bowl seems like a good thing to get killed as well, but I don't know. I think this may not be necessarily an enemy. It's got like a yellowish name there. So I would love to do one damage in a in an area, but I do know that I, one thing I remember is that moving costs one AP. We have three AP, casting a spell costs an AP, and moving costs an AP. Uh, so we got to be a little bit careful there. So I guess I'll just do one move over here. Or does this cost more than one AP? No. We'll kill this thing. And it blows up anyways. Oh my god. All right, so we have one AP left. We could obviously, like, do a teleport or something. I'm just going to scoot down one. I'm not too worried about this beetle making it to me and exploding. Okay. Okay. I mean, a relatively straightforward room. I think we move down, we collect what is plus starter. A starter card or something? Just throw this here. Same deal. Okay. Room done, room unlocked there. So what? we have a starter pack of Auspice. Recommended booster pack for aspiring drafters. Often drops basic and simple cards. Here may be flavor text. Here be flavor text. So I'm assuming that maybe, like, either at the end of the floor or at the end of uh, a dungeon, we may get some kind of a change to that. Treasure room with no possible downsides, question mark? Ooh. What a nice effect that is. I do remember loving the music as well. Okay, scoot, scoot, scoot. Was there money in these... Hold on, was there money in these? There's a health up thing, but I'm, I'm not I'm not missing any health, so I think I'll leave it for now. Okay, so it was to see intentions. Just hold the left. Direct damage root. Intends to do one damage. Wait, direct damage inflicted units will trigger any effects that respond to damage. Yep. Affected by a root cannot move or be moved by push effects. So I don't know if it intends to, to move itself. But we're in a kind of a weird spot. Where I can't hit it unless I do like a... I can throw down here. 
the shot is going to hit this health pod and then split off to the side. Oh my god, it's... <laughs> boom, boom. But yeah, I, I just remember there being lots of very, very clever uh, different interpretations of, you know, little mechanics. And I also feel like, uh, I've said this before and I'll say it again, that I think that the kind of deck builder turn-based tactics genre combo, which of which this is, kind you know, more or less, I feel like it's missing a true heavy hitter. And this this has always been in the back of my mind, like the one that I was hoping uh, when it comes out will we'll have that extra element. But it's kind of like a combat demo tutorial here. Four damage to a target unit. I mean, what's your plan? You're going to move two and then hit me for one. So I'm not too worried about that. I do not know how to make this move hit in an area instead. Like, maybe if I just click... Oh, if I just click myself. Okay, we do the area. I really like that move, though. We got two... So let's think about getting ourselves in a good spot to do a big AoE. We could teleport. It is... If I go here, it is... Two to the left, two above. One, two, one, two. Uh, one, two. So this... I, I could do it. I could get teleport here, move, but then I'm in, like, I'm in supreme danger. I actually may just want to uh, stall. Or maybe, like, move here. Yeah, let's let's move on in, because I think next turn is going to be really, really nice for us to get that big AoE. The question is if the walls block my AoE for whatever reason. Gone. That's good. So we do this. Hold on. Oh, wrong move. Three damage to all grounded units. Wait, that's even better, though. Do I waste it? I don't know. I don't think it's a waste. And, of course, it's a slime, so it's got to split into other slimes. I'm trying to think what I want to say. I mean, this is innately more flexible, because it is the flexible bolt. I don't know what I'll need in the future, but... <laughs> It's more likely that uh, I will have a use case for it. Oh, yep, yeah, there is indeed gold. We came from up here, right? No? Oh, we came from over there. Don't know what this is. Sword Challenge Crystal Effigy. Sword Saint Shrine. Prove your worth? I guess so. Ah, okay, so... Gotcha. One net damage, close unit to close unit. If you kill, create a phantom copy of this. Huh. I mean, that could be good for slimes. I feel like I want to... Um, Teleport target to the target's tile. Hold on. So I bet you there's something I could... Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> OBS just closed <laughs> randomly in the middle of that here. Okay. So yeah, I can't... What was I saying? I can't move him closer... Without this one, like, getting to hit me. I could, like, teleport this one. Here, what's the radius on this? I could teleport this one here. And it won't be able to get to me. But I can't teleport this one into a spot that won't be a problem. One damage to close. You know what we should have done? We should have teleported him close. Well, no, but then the baby slime. But then the baby slime. This is fine. Unless you can move through the Saint... Wait, the Saint Sword Shrine with the slime. Unless the slime can move through the Saint Sword Shrine. I suppose we could, like... Relocate ourselves. Relocate... Kate seems incredible. Heat. It seems very, very good.
Oh, you didn't even try to move. Okay, so we don't draw a full hand. We draw one card each turn, which is a big difference. So, like, I could move up. I'll tell you what. I'm going to inflict three hex. Turns it into a helpless frog. Yeah, but you're not, like... Do you turn back into a slime after this? No, you don't. So we got a phantom copy of this. You have no intent of uh, approaching me. I mean, to be fair, it's the smartest thing to do is to not approach me. Okay, so this is like your actual danger zone. It seems like you... All right, let's test it. Let's just get a hit. There's a health pod here. I want to know, if you move to with bump, one, two, do you bump this turn? No. So bump requires an actual movement to hit me. Create copies of all the cards cast during the current turn. Interesting. I mean, I don't really need to turn you into that, but if I do this, then you... Oh, I can't shoot upwards. I can only shoot to the side. Projectile that moves in a given direction. So it has to create a projectile, actually. Okay. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. I think we can... Oh, it's a little bit more. Yeah, it needs an extra spot. I'll tell you what. I guess we, uh, I guess we move back here and then we just say no. Can I press space to stop? Let's see. Is there a... Uh... Cancel turn, speed up, speed up, move, confirm, E. No? There's gotta be. Right? Space? It's not space? Let me figure it out. Ah, that's right. You have to hover over here to find that it's end turn. Hold on. End turn. There we go. I would say that's, like, kind of hidden. So, you should not be able to bump. You cannot. Okay. All right, we got this then. Whoop. Oh, it's a one damage AOE. It's not one damage to a close unit. It's one damage to close units. Plural. That is... Okay, that is a lot better. Plus one Slime King card. Ooh, summon a Slime King. It looks like it costs money to summon. Okay, so I think that we adjust our deck either afterwards or maybe right here. Maybe at the the, the bed. Tome Saint Shrine, Hearth Saint Shrine. Oh, like all of our discard... Oh, all our discard went into our, our draw pile again. And that's just a health. I mean, I wasted it, but hey, it's fine. None too worried. So this, I guess, is going to be like, what, a boss-type room? False dragon. So, hmm. God, the copycats. I now understand the value of the copycats if we don't shuffle our deck naturally. But it also is, like, innately beneficial to have our decks shuffled, because theoretically the cards that we have used are, in theory, the ones we want to, to have used the most in the future. Or what? To use the most in the future. Get rid of that. All right. So we could hex. We could hex move AoE. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. That's ultimately amazing, either. I, I wish I could teleport here and throw my, my triple spark. That's what I wish I could do. Alternatively, we could just flame ring twice. It's not the most incredible thing in the world. But we don't really need two flame rings. It's not... It, 
that's not entirely true. There's certainly going to be a use case for double flame ring, as I would theoretically hope there is in most case scenarios. You can do that from anywhere? Oh, that is some trash. Passive, can't move or teleport. End of turn, discard. So I can't, can I play it? No. Oh, I can't move there. Oh, well, the good news is I do have a way to kill this guy. So th this is create copies of all the cards cast during the current turn. Okay. Oh my. Seems a bit overkill for the situation. Did you... Wait, did you block it or something? I can't move. Wait, why did you not take, uh, take damage? Did you have more health than I thought? Or did something block it? It sure looks like it's going to kill now. Okay, okay. All right, either something blocked it or whatever. You are... You better not do the same... How do I... How do I deal with this, then? Wait, what? I can't move. I can't get to you. You better not do the same thing. You're doing the same thing again. Am I... Mi what am I missing? Oh, I can cast this. Okay. I gotta remember that casting is, like, is... It's not click and then click anywhere for things that have uh, only one target and it's you. Like, in most games, that's kind of how it goes. It, it is If it has only one target and it's you, you click it and then you just click anywhere on the map. But it makes sense, I guess, in a way, since there is some situations in which... Oh, God. How do I... tell you what, if I move here next turn, I'm fine. So I can, I, this move sucks though. I, uh, it's the fact that it can be done from anywhere and it's root makes me hate it. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of guaranteed damage, but yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Whoop. That did feel satisfying. There's no shortage of, like, little healing around the maps, though, it feels like. Even to the extent where I bet you we could, uh, we can also speed up here. There's a shift key to speed things up. Built in. Oh, there was a chest here I missed. I was screaming at my screen! There you go. Ooh, you weren't, by the way. But it's alright. I'll forgive you for your lies. All right. Scootin'? Boop, 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 boop. All right, we got another fight room here. We're back up at full health. So now we know if there's plants, we gotta kill them first. Plants go first. What are you? Ancient Shaman. Summon and blink. Okay. Puppeteer lays a trap that charm charm for any enemy that springs it. Interesting. Ba, 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 ba. Three damage to grounded units or one to flying. How do you intend to move to me? I could like, if I put it here, you would have to pretty much go on this spot. So I kind of like the idea of that. And then copycat. Cause I don't really know what else I'd do here. I would love to throw hex on this guy. All right, if I don't know what else to do, I guess I'll just scoot down. We'll, we'll at least uh, charm this one for a bit, which I can only imagine is what charm typically does and, you know, makes it so he's on my side for a bit. You summon a bomb. 
and then teleport away. Oh, I I wish. Well, I guess I could I could puppeteer him. Huh. So you are now in my way. Puppeteer. No. No, you idiot. You idiot. Well, at least it's probably going to blow up right there. Could be worse. Actually, it could be way worse. Oh, the babies! The babies are charmed as well. Still no teleport. I'm missing the teleport for sure. So the babies are going to go first, which they're going to block that slot. So this one was wasted. I guess, I guess we'll try and line ourselves up for a nice clean shot there. The babies will do that. He will attack the babies. It'll be a massacre. I feel like the charm is going to wear off shortly here, but we really like them kind of trading blows back and forth here. Oh, you idiots. Let's go. It did end up working. So you're probably going to do something. Spawn right here. Yeah. Teleport away. Where are you teleporting to? Not that far. Could be way worse. But it is, it's enough to be annoying. How can I see how much charm is left on you? Uh, let's see. Tab is overview. I don't think I can. Maybe charm doesn't work that way. Maybe it's like, if they have this much health or less. I don't know. Either way. Four damage to a single unit. We I, Like, I need you dead. So I think we just, um... Ah, I can't teleport fast. I'm just a soda gun. We just do this. I think we do this. We do this. Splits up the slime babies. Oh, the one. Is that the charm that's left? No, that's the attack order. The question is, does... Combat end immediately on charm. Yeah. Oh, dang. They're just my pals. Forever. That's good to know. I do want to know if there is a way where we can... We also have all that money. Current spoils. I don't think that there's a way we do this now. I, I think it's... And in a way that I actually appreciate, I think that it is just after every floor. Because otherwise, like... Oh, I feel bad. I needed to get to the... <laughs> to the crate. Otherwise, you'd be, like, disrupting the flow really hard. And just changing your deck every, you know, two seconds. Or at least I know I would. Oh, huge. Very nice. So, let's see. I don't want to really flame ring. You're going to move two. Move two and then blow up. Which you may be able to move, 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 blow up. So I think I need to be careful. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stay at, stand right here. I, I, I want to be careful with that. Where are you going? You're hopping away. Oh, no. Because I, I was hoping I could do the flexible jolt. We kind of need to kill this one now. Do either. I might as well blow up the barrel at the same time. Why not? I actually don't have anything that kills this thing now. Just move towards it. It, it can only move one tile. I should be able to catch up to it. Or I'll draw an actual attack.
twat. Is that nine hex in the upper right there? Seems like it. That doesn't make sense, though. Because I did not do nine. Whoop. It's interesting, like, a lot of the moves feel like they feel too good to use, but you really have to use them. Which I think is kind of a good situation to be in. Because it makes all of them feel powerful. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. You have some kind of armor. Yeah, two health twice. Okay, so this is... Alright, here's what we do. Womp. Womp. That felt great. <laughs> that felt great. That room would have... Honestly, would have been a nightmare. If we had to do that legit... Ooh, a puzzle piece? I'll save that for after. I do love, like how... um. Oh, clean it is. Frog of the week. Hex one on all damaged units in target area. Interesting. I don't know what to do here. Because I can't... Oh, no. None of them are damaged. The good news is I can kill the shaman. The bad news is... Oh, God. The bad news is everything else. If only you were right here instead. If only I could teleport... If I could teleport here... We could go boom, split, split. Like, I could kill these... But I can only assume when they die, they do damage to me as well. It doesn't say that, but, like, I'm pretty sure that that happened, right? They, they do their blow-up when they just die naturally. So, it's sort of like we need to... Just do this to... Well, we didn't need to do that, but I kind of wanted to save my moves. We can go for the flame ring, you know what I'm saying, next turn, potentially. All right, we're gonna we're gonna find out if the blow up happens in the annoying way or not. Let's find. Let's just find out. This is for science. Can you attack me with your bomb attack from right here? No. That's really good information. Oh lord. Where are you blinking to? Okay. Interesting stuff here. Charm. Oh, we could cause some havoc. God, why do all my moves have to be this? Like, if I... I could... Uh, I can't even get down there, though. Oh, you dirty... I could go one, two, three. This, this is really tricky. Due to the fact that my only attacks will make me take damage, too. <laughs> Aside from this one, which feels like a waste to do. God... I don't love this. I don't love this at all. It could have been better. Maybe we'll draw something more useful. But like, uh, yeah, Frog of the Week, which, LOL, by the way. Uh, not going to work on the guys that only have one health. Okay. Seems like he stopped summoning, which, thank God. Oh boy. You know what, gang? I think we go ahead and take one damage.
to guarantee that both of them die. But the question is, what the hell else do I do? Because I, I could try and trap, uh, I could try and trap him, but you're not missing any health, so there's nothing I can do with that. Dirty fool! I could, uh, I could trap you. Oh God, is it because like our hands full? You know what, I'm gonna, if it's because our hand's full, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, ditch a card. Certainly you would not blow up on your father. Okay, because now if we can get him to blow up there, we can do uh, frog the weak upon him. I want the money, but we could just get it at the end of the floor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, again, I'm just going to clean out that card a little bit. Move a little bit closer. Frog the Week will work here. Blink. Do you stop summoning stuff? Please tell me you stop summoning stuff. Oh, you do. Okay. So there's like a. There's like a I'm sorry counter. What? Oh, Frog of the Week only lasts for one. That is so annoying. Okay. Uh, I don't want to waste all my good cards on you. But alas... I wonder if I did copycat right now if that would bring it back. Should I try it for science? Is it it's still I think it's still technically the current turn. It is still technically the current turn because we didn't run out of AP. That's good science. That's why we do those things that are sometimes dumb, is because sometimes you find out those things are like, eh, I don't I don't actually know how that's gonna work. And you have to try it. It's a roguelike. Oh my god! What? I'm so glad we have, like, really spicy moves, though. I don't know what a flying bowl is. I'm not too worried about this, this though. There's, like, a pretty clean layout between things. I don't know how good of a um, fireball shot we're really going to be getting this fight. So I'll, I'll go for this. The question is if the wooden crate counts. For science, we have another reactive spark. It sure looks like it can link. The question is, which way does it go? Oh, it goes the bowl. And it did hit because it did two damage to break his armor. That worked great. Another good case of the science. And I think that's like the big thing that I remember about this game is that science, when you're playing a game like this, you, you want to make sure the science is rewarded for the player. Otherwise, like, oh, God, it's just going to be sad. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> I I could have caused a problem. All right, so that was like a big special room. What is this? Why no open? Why no allowed? Do I need some kind of key? 
Oh, God. Okay, I have a teleport. I think this is maybe one of the strongest cards. Oh, if I could put him here, we'd be in business, man. not great in the sense that they all get to perform an attack. Yeah, let's press shift here. It's not great in that sense, but it is good in the sense that um, they're all low. They're all low. They're all one bomb away from being murdered. There's two healing pods in here. I could just let myself take a hit. Yeah, I don't I don't love but we need, like, getting two summoners out of here is, is good. What? Wait, they can do that? He moved one and he exploded diagonal. That one, that one could? All right. Yeah, here. Boop, boop. Don't you dare. Okay. Do I get... Oh, I get healed when I break that. I don't even have to be close to it. The swap. Swap places with target unit. Double checking. Huh. Did I need to, like, get there at a certain time? Mayhaps. Oops. All right, final, final room. You gotta die. It's too important. I think that's just such a good move. It's gotten me out of so many binds. Oy. Yeah, it, it's, it's so smart that he always blinks out of the... Uh, the old distance there that he needs to. We could frog the weak, but it only lasts for one turn. I, I don't think I want to waste my teleport. I'll, I'll just deal with one more turn from the uh, from the summoner. Should be fine. Boop, boop. Uh, it's a waste of chain react. I'm doing it. I'm I'm going for it. I'd rather flame ring. Of course. Should have known. All right, 
Again, we're, we're really unable to open this, huh? I wonder what we need to do to do that. It's not like... Does it have a symbol of the... The plant pods on it? Is there a hidden key somewhere? Is the fact that there's technically enemies on the map? Sorry, guys. My children. I have no idea. We did everything on the floor. Yeah, we did everything. I guess we didn't break all of these. I guess there could be a hidden key or something. I kind of doubt it. Sort of doubt it. Moving around with shift on just feels really, really nice. God only knows. Maybe we need to be missing health. Like an Isaac way or something. Alright. Starter. A couple starter packs. And alright. Return to Adventurer's Town. Yes? Won't you take me to Adventurer's Town? No! It's still so good, though. Like, uh... uh dang. It is... It's neat to see the, uh... The, the hints of the stuff coming up in the future, but, like, oh... It, it's just, like, the raw feeling of the game is so clean. And, like, imagining, I know that, yeah, in between the dungeons, we are going to be going back to town. We'll be able to modify our deck, everything like that. I I think that this has so much promise. I really do. I, I think that it, it has a lot of the issues that I have with, like, the genre combo fixed up and patched up. Uh, I will say, like, the only thing that I'm annoyed with in the whole demo is the unavoidable nature of the um, the AoE attack or whatever, the, the root attack from the plant. I wish that it had like a max range, at the very least. Bare minimum, give it a max range, right? Uh, so that there's some counterplay to it. It it could be like a pretty sizable range or something, but just like something, just something. It, it should have a max range. But that's like the only thing that's a problem. Uh, I wish we could play around more with, like, the actual deck building mechanics, things like that, uh, in the in the form of the demo. Maybe you could, and it just wasn't explained very well. Uh, but, again, yeah, this remains something that I am extremely hopeful for. I think that, like, obviously this is just sort of a tech demo of sort of, like, what is in uh, the dungeons, what does the core gameplay loop look like. It's just very, very solid. Uh, it, it opens up with the types of cards and what they allow you to do, it opens up some really actually interesting strategic decisions for you to make uh, that I think are very, very promising uh, and, in, you know, conducive to cool moves, cool big plays. So, last, last, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, you know, we'll be definitely checking out more Dungeon Drafters when there's more Dungeon Drafters to check out. So, do let me know if you are excited about the game for yourself. Comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!